Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Game Feed. My name, of course, is Panzo6, and today we're going to talk about things that are crazy in video games. Um, now, as you know, this series is basically about gaming, gaming as a whole, rather be announcements, uh, you know, uh, delays, which we don't want to go there. We're not want to delay anything because this thing back, like right here on the side here, that will happen. That will really happen. Like, and we'll get into that. So, just all kinds of stuff about gaming. Um, and today I want to talk about uh, death threats. And this is nothing new. This is nothing new. You've probably seen a lot of articles about this last last few years, actually. Rather than from the Call of Duty developers nerfing some of the gun guns on Black Ops 2, when the de developer got, you know, one of the guys got uh, his family and him, they both got death threats. Uh, the Mass Effect 3 team getting death threats uh, for their crazy ending, which I was perfectly fine with, but, you know, some people weren't, so, uh, but there's plenty more to go into, but we're not going to, we're just going to focus on this main one, but if you look below me here, there's one, another one of the biggest ones, it's, uh, one of the biggest feminists on the internet, uh, Anna Sarkeesian, and this has just happened, just like when she was forced to cancel her show or whatever, her uh, big conference to talk about video games, and she got death threats. That's scary. That's really fucking scary. These things happen, and I don't understand what people, um, what goes in their minds whenever something so small. This is a video game. This is a video. This would be like me, you know, breaking this thing's head off, and, you know, Somebody calls me and says, hey, I'm going to murder you for breaking that thing's head off. Not only that, I'm going to kill your cats and kill your fiancé at the same time. And I'm going to make you watch. That's, it's retarded. It's retarded. It doesn't make sense. Um, you know, somebody's life is not, um, a person's life is not more, um, it's not worth getting taken away over something so small. And this doesn't just happen in video games. This happens with everything, everything. And some people just say it, you know, out of anger and spite. And I understand that. Being pissed off and all this. I mean, a long time ago, and I would be the first one to admit this, I, I was in a really crazy relationship, um, and some things happened, and I told the guy, like, after, you know, he basically cussed me out and said he was going to kick my ass. I told him I would fucking murder the guy. Um... But I was pissed off. I was pissed off. And, you know, hindsight, looking back, that's probably the wrong thing to say. But that's comparably different to things like video games and uh, just objects in general. We take these things, um, we take these things seriously. Gamers, uh, you know, geeks, whatever, football player, fans, they, they all, you know, they're very passionate about this stuff. And when something happens that they don't like, they're going to speak out. But... There should be a limit on the way you should speak out. These things actually should be happening. Um, like I said here, you know, a game got delayed. Um, the guys over Kotaku uh, and the developer, the main developer of uh, No Man's Sky, both got death threats. You know, we don't know. We don't know for sure. Especially in these days, people get killed all the time over stupid fucking things. Um, and we don't know if we should take these things serious or not. But if you take a look at just any comment section of any, you know, gaming platform, uh, rather be YouTube, uh, Reddit, uh, not, it's not even have to do with gaming. It's just anything. You're going to see people's going to say, I kill you. You suck. I'm going to murder you. I'm going to rape you. Um, that happens all the time. And it's almost like getting to the point where you shouldn't really even care about it. But then again, it's a threat on your life. Um... You know, it's kind of like the you know call it uh, the boy who cried wolf. Um, you know, he did it so many times, and the people didn't believe him. And it finally happened, and the, all the sheep or whatever got murdered. I, I don't know. It's been a long time since I read this story, but you know, it's just kind of terrible. I, I mean, we don't know, you know, these how, if these people are serious or not because you know, even if you're higher up, if you're a person of interest, if you have if you're a top YouTube uh, tuber, um, Twitch streamer, a game journalist, a politician, um, and you're in a spit, I mean, you're in a spot where um, you're you can be influential, or um, you got a lot of people like you. Like you, there's going to be a lot of people who get jealous of that, and they want what you want, but they also want the people who has this stuff. They don't think they should have it, and so they try to make their lives a whole lot miserable by just 
doing these nasty, horrendous things, which, you know, again, I don't understand why they're doing it, but they do it anyways. Um, but let's take a look here. Let me go scroll down here. All right, here are some of the things, and I'm not going to even um, blur out the name of these people because at this point, you are, Kotaku already made it public. So let's see. Your little article about No Man's Sky being delayed has made me hate you to my very core. So this guy is hurting so bad. Like, he is hurt. Like, his core is just fucked up. So, it's the only thing, thing I live for. Really? I mean, really? That's the only thing you live for. You don't care about family, friends, making your life awesome, um, making a difference in the community. The only thing you really care about is a video game. Again, again, that's really fucking crazy. Right, but it gets it gets crazier. All right. And you're going to write that bullshit about a delay. Instead of visiting London later this month, I think I'll come by and say hi to you and fuck you up. Why? 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 Why are we going to fuck this guy up? Because he's reporting a delay of a big game. If anything, if anything, this delay is going to possibly make things better because it was delayed for polishness. So to get things more polished, so that way when your game comes out, it'll be a whole lot better. You know. But anyways, let's go on. You think you can get away with this that easy? Making fun of our Reddit page also? Sounds like you have a death wish. We will find you. Be afraid, human. We are coming for you. So already we got a mob of people ready to attack this guy, according to this dude. So, okay, because he didn't say I, he said we. Um, but, you know, I. <laughs> it's just really funny because, you know, if I received death threats, I, I, I would, of course, I'd be a little anxious about it. But seeing this here, well, seeing that, this guy, is, it seems more of a parody of itself, you know. And these people... I guess they don't think before they post on the internet of this is going to be hurt this guy more than anything, especially in these days when <laughs> a lot of jobs take a look at you know social media and uh, all this stuff. They're probably going to see I don't know this guy's name, Beach Chaser, Beach Clashers. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is. It sounds like a uh, iOS game, some kind of ripoff of Clash of Kings or something. I better not say that. I'll get a death threat. <laughs> but anyways, I don't understand it. It just blows my mind that we live in these days where people think it's okay to threaten somebody's life over small things. And like I said, I love video games a lot. I love them. You know, and I've been on the I've been on line playing against people, and you know, I've been pissed. Where I'll say I'll fucking kill you, or I fucked your mother, but I've never meant it. And I've never went out of my way to, you know, message a game journalist or a developer or somebody that I don't agree with and tell them I'm going to brutally murder you and rape your family and kill them as well. Which I'm not saying that nothing says rape, but I have seen things like that before. If, you, if, you're on, if you're as old as me and you've been on the internet, you're probably going to see some crazy, crazy shit. Um, which brings me to my next point. Um, not only have we been doing things like that, we've been dealing with swatters, trolls, and stuff like that. If you guys don't know about swatting, swatting is basically, um, it's basically a thing where, say you're on stream, you're streaming on Twitch, and somebody gets a hold of your IP address, and to troll you, they'll basically call in and say there's, you know, somebody... Uh, trying to has guns and somebody's getting hurt and they'll say where the address is and a SWAT team will show up to your house guns ready barging in and you know if you make the wrong move you could possibly fucking die because at this point these policemen already have it in their head this is a dangerous situation um, and it's scary I don't understand I don't understand this you know as much as I love video games as a whole some people in the community is fucking crazy. Like, I just don't understand why we're, we, you know, have to see this all the time. It, it really bums me out quite a bit. But, you know, as far as everything goes, I do hope the No, Man, the no Man's Sky team and the developers, as well as the guys over at Kotaku, or anybody has received these death threats, um, I hope they're okay, I hope they're fine. I hope this doesn't, 
uh, deter them from you know being working in the gaming industry because there has been cases where um, people in the industry just flat out quit uh, because of these things and you know like I said it's no laughing matter to joke you know jokingly say or in this guy's case he seems pretty serious um, he jokingly says you know I'm gonna kill you we're gonna kill you so it's this big mob and uh, mentality but you know it is what it is but I figured I'd show you guys this. Um, I'm sorry it's been too late. I'm sure this is a little bit shorter than usual. Um, but I kind of wanted to get it out there just to give you my opinion on it. Um, and just see where everything stands. Um, now, if you, you guys have problems or issues um, uh, with this, I'd definitely like to know in the comment section below. Um, and as always, be sure to hit like and subscribe. And uh, later this week, I want to have some big news. Um, I already already talked about it on Twitter um, but it's something in regards to the bits and pieces Kickstarter and GoFundMe pages um, but we'll talk about that on the let's talk it's not really too appropriate for here but as always be sure to like and subscribe help this channel grow and we'll try to come out if we see more news like this you know definitely want to report on it and talk about it but if you know whatever but as again don't don't fucking send death threats to people don't fucking do it. It's terrible. It's bad. It makes you look like a dumbass. Just don't do it. <laughs> but I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry for rambling and keeping on as long as I longer than I thought I would, but I love you. Be sure to hit like and subscribe.